only on Sunrise. NBC5 News has been teaming up with Asante to bring you better health. Well, this week, Beth Coker and I sat down to discuss basic checkups, important for people who are active, especially in sports. It's time for Better Health, and I'm here with health expert Beth Coker and Dr. Teichman. Thank you guys so much for being here. Good morning. So today we are talking about sports physicals. And as fall sports begin again, the state law requires high school and above to have a sport physical before they participate in sport. What are some of the things that you're looking for in this appointment? It depends upon the time and the age of the student. It depends upon what their sport is. And if a parent or another person as long has their own questions, I think it's important to respect their agenda and get their questions answered. Um, the type of sport probably determines the most up front. Mm -hmm. For example, if they're playing football, if there's been a consideration of concussion risk, if it's the appropriate choice to play football, um, if they've already had a concussion, if there have been other injuries. Uh, somewhat the same for soccer, uh, mm -hmm. depending upon the age of the student. The younger the student, the greater their risk is of having repetitive brain injury from just the whipping issues if they're doing headers. We try to investigate what um, the coach's attitude is and what the rules are around that and see if that fits in with the family understanding and the safety issues there. Are you looking at baseline blood pressure and weight? Are you addressing risky behaviors mm -hmm. in teens and college age right. kids? Yeah, well that's a lot mm -hmm. to unpack there, isn't it? Uh, there are vital signs, and we call them vital signs because mm -hmm. they're vital, so of course we're going to get those on everyone. And One caution I'd say some people worry about, oh my blood pressure is going to be high, I can't play. Um, I think actually playing sport is a treatment for that, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't feel shy about making sure you're well check for that and if further investigations are needed we do that. Um, on the clinical side there's not a whole lot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more history and that goes for most of medicine is what people are telling us what's going on what the progression of their condition has been. Um, there are a few needle in the haystack issues we look for um, especially for somewhat larger athletes perhaps volleyball players who have a lean tall body form. Um, we'd be looking for something called uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Mm -hmm. It's a very rare cardiac condition that can come as a surprise and have a, an instantaneous dangerous response of stopping the heart or even death. And uh, Marfan syndrome is another one that's very rare but it's a little bit more common than people think. And there are some physical signs we can pick up on that um, and some additional clinical maneuvers we can do during the physical to pursue both of those. So it's a great screening tool for anything that might be going wrong. It's a good screening tool. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, it's one of those strange things that seems to be done differently no matter where you are in the United mm -hmm. States. I've worked mm -hmm. in several different states and it's always sort of flabbergasted me how it's so important for this school for them to include these parts of the exam versus the next one doesn't have that at all but there's a local emphasis or even an individual emphasis on mm -hmm. something else. There's a lot of momentum from old time ways of doing things with even the old forms are, are uh, somewhat funny in what they're seeking. Mm -hmm. um, so um, in terms of evidence behind it, it's not super strong, but that's fine. It, it allows us an opportunity to go forward with more anticipatory guidance mm -hmm. concerns. Thank you for your insights today. Yes, and it's great knowledge for parents too. Well, thank you both so much for being here. We'll be right back.